Hello. This is Hiroshi Shai with another uh, Clue Day episode. Uh, today's key is the clan key. Uh, it's June 2nd, 2019, and you are watching Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. So, this key is a bit strange, and uh, I will save my thoughts about the key towards the end. But uh, it's another Sunday. We have another uh, key out uh, to keep you updated about the keys. Uh, the ASAP key was solved, so that is considered to be found. The Obon key and the Earth key are still, at this point, uh, have not been solved or found uh, by either a public or private group. Uh, I'm hope you know. I keep hoping there'll be more keys released each each time, but like I said, we're not we're not we started in march january February, march april may yeah we're <clears throat> we started april yeah we started in april so kind of two months into this uh yeah, like i said I'll, I'll save i'll save my thoughts towards towards the end here so let's get into clue to the clue for the clan key so as you can see the clan key right here has been released as of June 2nd. It is, the clue is called a blockchain is a chain of blocks. The ASAP key, um, as I stated, um, has been found. The Hunty key, the Lepong key, the Moral key, the Business key, and the J key have also been found. What is not on the site but should be is the Business card key and the Art Tour key, which are still out in the wild. So we have four keys. Or no, not four, but five keys now out in the wild, which is the Earth key, the Abung key, today's new key, the Clan key, and the Business key, and the Art key. So, I have a few keys out there. So, let's get into the clue. A blockchain is a chain of blocks. Clans are the essence of any hunt. Due to the incredible variety of skills required to win, a lone hunter has almost no chance of winning the hunt. Instead, the spoils will go to the strongest clan. Today's clue is a fun way to show your clan's cohesion and win a truly unique key. Step 1. To start a chain, shoot a video of yourself outside making your clan's secret gesture. This could be anything you want, so get creative, but everyone in the chain must use the same gesture to be counted. Post the video on Twitter with the following hashtag. Satoshi's Treasure, Clan Chain, the name of your clan, and then he gives an example, hashtag cat clan, and the block number, another example, uh, hashtag 44. Step 2. To extend the chain, the next person should have someone shoot a video of them holding a phone playing the previous video in the chain and making the same secret gesture and then quote tweet the previous block in the chain with hashtags, clan name, and the block number. Step three, same as step two, but this time the next clan member should be showing the video from step two rather than the Genesis block. Note, if anyone in the chain attempts to double spin by posting twice, the entire chain after that invalid block will be considered invalid. Using video filters is okay, but any that completely obscure your face may result in your block being considered invalid. On June 15th at midnight GMT time, whichever clan has the longest chain will receive the clan key, a unique key which should be safeguarded from all their clans. The key will be given to the person who started the chain to be distributed to the clan members or not, according to the clan rules. So let's get into this a little bit. Okay, first off, they're attempting to use social media to kind of have a visual... Um, track if you will or example of what a a block is essentially this is the basic essence of what a blockchain is you know you have the information from the genesis block the first block and then you have the next block added on to it that ha contains you know and can, and continues further and further on throughout the blocks it's, it's all interconnected in an in essence um, you can't double spend because the information on the Genesis block, first block, second block, third block, if you're the fifth block and you're trying to spend the Bitcoins, for example, or in this case, uh, a person uh, who is block two tries to be block, block five, it, it's not going to work. So they're trying to get as many 
people in a, in a chain as you can to form your, your clan chain, if you will, um, which is what this is being called. Um, so in the Telegram channel, which is not the official channel, and some of the Discord clans that um, I'm in, particularly the, the, the Telegram channel, People were like kind of all kinds of minds about this one, particularly the fact that they couldn't obscure their face. Many people are not interested in doxing themselves. They kind of like playing um, this game, like either at home or with their clan, uh, maybe doing a few out in the world in person activities. But they they're not interested in the World Wide Web knowing who they are, particularly considering that the prize is Bitcoin or just the fact something that has a monetary value so because of the monetary value um just you know respect to their privacy they're <clears throat> they're a little concerned about showing their face um and we'll get into that in a little bit uh the fact that this can easily be sabotage you you start a chain and then somebody comes into your chain and doesn't do the right gestures or the right um hashtags and so you in essence have created an invalid block or they do like you know block seven and then come like at block 34 with their same face there's that and we'll get we'll get into that about people having questions of that and then there's the aspect of you you create a chain it gets to be um all the way almost to the end and you know just right around june 15th right before midnight hits a bunch of people delete their their tweets and so there's no longer block you know 64 123 uh block 7 block 99 you know however long the chain is so there there's a potential for <laughs> clans to you know go after one another if you will and then just by the nature of twitter uh, if a hashtag starts to train a little bit um, Sometimes Twitter algorithms can get a little weird depending on your settings. You could just have random dudes or people or, or just trolls just coming in just to, for the, the lulls, if you will, uh, sabotaging your particular clan's chain. So there's that. Um, there's also like a number of clans that don't have that many people in it. They're a small group. So they 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 might not be able to achieve even if they were to bring in friends and family to kind of get the the uh, longest chain if you will valid chain uh, they might not end up having that to be the case and then there's other people doing scenarios about AI robots videos uh, it, it was getting kind of crazy in the Telegram discussion uh, as always I have a link in the show notes to everything I talk about but uh, that unofficial Telegram channel you you should. Uh, follow it and see how people's thoughts were, were coming about this particular um, uh, clue for this particular key. Um, <clears throat> also, it, it started bringing up some kind of negative energy a little bit in the essence that uh, it's a great marketing thing for Satoshi Treasure Hunt if this were to go viral and then people were able to successfully create these... Um, block videos, block chains, these clan chains, if you will, but people are feeling a little off put by the, the nature of the way the game makers are handling the game so far. Um, the fact that, again, some of the tools are not being released, the public address hasn't been released for people to know, and I'll talk about that towards the end of the video as well, but, you know, interesting discussions. There's coordinations going on about how to do this particular chain, what the gesture is going to be, when they're going to do it to secure the longest chain, how many people will be involved. So, you know, if you want to participate, maybe get in touch with your clan. If you want to sabotage people, you know, you can just follow the hashtag and have fun, if you will. But uh, I do like of all of this about this particular uh, key, if you will is that it is a unique key so it can be rain hidden and nobody has to know it it doesn't have to go public so that might be something that might be tradable later down the line or come in handy for uh for clans and people 
Imagine getting towards the end and you have a stack of hidden keys, like 10 or 12 of them, and you're at, um, I don't know, 394 or something, and you don't have all the hidden keys, but you have, you have just enough and you just need maybe one or two keys to, or, you know, then six keys to kind of get closer to having that 400, you know? Uh, it, it'd be interesting as things get, you know, get closer to that 400 key release to see if people are able to start unlocking um, the Bitcoin address. So let's click shoot your video of yourself. So this is Eric Wheaton, as uh, his handle is Wheat Pond as he does the particular um, gesture. So he started it, but he, he put himself as one instead of zero. Zero is the Genesis block, but he put himself as one, which people kind of clowned him in the Telegram chat <laughs> about that. And then this was the Twitter response, which is from the Ubuntu Twitters. So I will have a link in the show notes again about the Bunkey uh, list of Twitter handles because they use those handles to um, create the the uh, clan chain example, which from from me means that there's a potential that these particular Twitter handles will be utilized in some fashion to convey information or participate in the hunt, uh, you know, in some some point later down the line. So it would be important if you would like, you know, to be able to subscribe to that list or, you know, make your own list, if you will, and keep an eye on these particular handles. So here's the second individual, technically should be number one, doing the same thing. And then here is the, the quote teat version right here where the third person quote tweeted the second person and filmed their video. Um, in this case, she kept her phone up the entire time she was doing the hand gesture. So, and as you can see, she has a hat and glasses and her head's tilted so you can't fully see her face. So there is a face and it's not completely obscure. So maybe that might count or not count as valid, you know. Mm. So this is where the official account had the tweet announcement. Today's going to be a fun clue, nothing too hard, but there will only be one winner and thus is a unique key. Just kind of reiteration from the um, clue itself. So some people tweeted some questions about, you know, clarification on the, the rules, if you will. So let's go. So, <clears throat> an interesting attack on the clan key challenge is brought up. Hostile clans adding invalid blocks to your chain. Easy mitigation. Ignore such blocks as invalid and continue to build on the valid chain. So, if you see somebody not doing the right gesture, quote tweeting, say, someone quote tweeted number seven and making them number eight, but they are obscure face and doing the wrong hand gesture, then the person who was supposed to be, you know, eighth would then just requote number seven, ignoring the fake eight and becoming the new eight and going from there. So it's going to take a significant amount of coordination, eyes on the, on the channel, or I wish I say channel, but eyes on the, yeah, eyes on the Twitter channel, uh, eyes on the, uh, your hashtag, your clan to, to make sure that, you know, no bad actor, actors come in and you're, you're quotating something that's essentially an invalid block and you can have a chain of people like 10 deep or something before you kind of reorg and have to uh, go back to the proper block. Um, so forced to play two, uh, question number two, the clue says to, uh, to use quote Twitter when you post. Your example did not do that. Do we follow the format of your example or do we adhere to the rules? Either is fine, format format not terribly important, longest chain will win. So you don't have to quote tweet uh, in order to continue forward. You just have to kind of 
stick to the framework, if you will, of having the phone that had like the video of eight, if you're number nine, doing whatever hand gesture your clan agreed upon. And then that way, if someone from your clan sees number nine and does the same thing without having to quote tweet you, if you will. Uh, interesting clarification clarification question. Does the device playing the previous block video have to be a phone? The answer is no. Feel free to use your Sega Game Gear if you really must. Only requirement is that the video is easily identifiable. So you can't use filters or special effects or, uh, or anything of that nature. Probably should stick to horizontal instead of, uh, or not horizontal, vertical instead of horizontal. I think that might make it a little bit easier for people. You know, shoot like you're on Instagram or something. Another clarification. Is it okay to create a t new Twitter account for clan members who don't have one? Answer, yes, that's fine. So maybe you don't want to give up your, your Twitter handle. Um, again, a privacy issue in order to participate in this particular um, clue challenge for this um, so someone in the uh, Telegram dropped a, a Google Doc, if you will, of the Clan Key original as a way of kind of either practicing for people to practice doing this or uh, extending the block, if you will, for, uh, or not block, but the blockchain, the, the Clan chain of the, uh, the one that was created by Eric, um, the game maker. Um, looks like there's only one person that added themselves up. Um, it will be interesting to see if anyone else joins in, but I will have a link in the show notes to the Google Doc so that you can see for yourself, for yourself if you want to participate or, or practice before um, your client gets started, if you will. And, you know, he has, he has like the Telegram name, the Twitter handle, the post, the end of the post, proof uh, must be entered, you know, the Twitter um linkage and then a text to copy and then there's an attempt by elementary voice if you will or a member of that clan uh, attempting to um, start a their clan or start a uh, chain if you will now you can clearly see his face somewhat even though it's slightly obscure he is doing a hand gesture. Uh, he, as you can see, it's hashtag clan chain, elementary voice is the name of the clan, and he is the genesis. Now here's a, another clan that is attempting to start their 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 chain. She has clan uh, from the Steam clan. She is block number seven. She quote tweeted block number six. If you look at the this video. This person has uh, the, her previous block mate, number five. She is six. She's holding up her phone and doing the hand gesture. Number seven. One isn't complete. <laughs> doesn't complete the hand gesture. It's just one second. Oh, wait. There we go. I guess there was a stutter step on my player here. But holds her phone up and gesturing. And you can actually see their full faces here. They didn't try to hide or obfuscate their face too much, if you will. So yeah, with this, I can see people uh, trying to sabotage uh, other clans' chains. Particularly, you know, hashtags are searchable. So as soon as, you know, someone gets going. And today's the second. You have all the way to the 15th that's a long time to do coordinations to if you actually literally started either today or um, tomorrow you know not to have invalid blocks not to have someone who might not essentially be part of your clan to be there as a placeholder for the moment that gets to, turns around to June 15th and just delete themselves and thus breaking your chain if you will so, yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see how cooperative the community will get. And more importantly, how many people are going to participate in each clan for these chains? Are we going to see like five, seven, ten 
to be the number for the particular winner or will it be something like a hundred um you know we'll see how it goes along i'm hoping another key drops tomorrow or at some point this week for other people to work on because uh 13 days is a, is a long time for everyone to be working on a key and not have other keys release you know kind of need to start picking up the pace there with the game makers i also think that just probably the best means for any clan if they were to sabotage or as an individual hunter if you were just seeking to sabotage um to make sure someone doesn't get the key because you're you're, there's no way for you to get the key or there's no way for your clan to get the key would be to sit there and wait for it to get to time and delete your um your twitter handle maybe even joining discord groups or telegram groups or whatever i don't know uh, our irc chat or matrix or mumble to warm up to some people and then be an ass and delete your block and they are not a winner just to just to make sure people won't consider your twitter handle any security measures that a client might do like you have to disclose the twitter handle you're using what is your discord handle is it one of the same something different just to keep track to make sure there's no invalid blocks or someone trying to delete and then you know delete or be you know be a jerk and, and delete themselves uh, <laughs> so there's that uh, honestly with I, I mean I understand what they're trying to do with this particular uh, key um, they're trying to make you know the hunt go viral which was a better way to do this and have a nice visual aid a bunch of people around the world participating in a silly silly kind of a thing uh, this video is quick it's almost like gif like if you will or vine like so it's like no more than 10 seconds maybe so it's easily uh, shareable translatable um media would probably you know glum onto it if it gets big enough it's just i don't think the game makers fully understand the their players that are playing um it is not that players are not sociable they're not using social media but this space does emphasize quite a bit and i mean i mean the space the bitcoin community space in general does emphasize their their privacy they don't want people to know a lot of them not everyone but a good majority about their wealth how many bitcoins they're holding um people are very cagey about that they're cagey but when they go to conferences they you know try to cover their identity they don't like to go to conferences where they know there's going to be a media presence or the fact that they're going to be videotape or photograph um you know there's been some physical thefts um as well as you know sim card jacking uh, any kind of metadata, you know, this day and age, I believe I saw something like it's like one point of now we're at the point where like one point one point of data information is enough for uh, you to be tracked down as an individual. I mean, even something as you, you know, not even something as simple as your birthday and maybe maybe another point might be your your location and they'll be able to find you like silly stuff like that. I completely forgot. The whole thing about the article but it's like very little information is necessary to track people down this in this day and age and so people try to obfuscate obfuscate their information give false information um try to use vpns uh, burner accounts uh, burner phones um, google you know google voice google phones that type of a deal vop uh, just to be safe on the safe side use your email for only this or that and never interconnect with anything else so i don't think this is going to go well i don't think it's going to be as viral as anything and the other thing is that people feel a little bit used by the game makers to basically in essence for free because that's what it is we're we're doing this yeah there's a prize at the end but this is free content if you will that is shareable because it's on Twitter, uh, creating this marketing, viral marketing campaign, if you will, 
uh, laboring for this for the, the game makers and not really getting compensation so much monetarily beyond just getting a key and maybe potentially getting the full bounty so it's a little weird um particularly when there's been some issues about the clues and the the, the manner upon which they've been dispensed uh the, again the public address it needs to come out um i see a lot of the same people in the telegram chats and the discord chats but it's not at the level as the first five weeks where there was a lot of people engaged it significantly waned and yes this is supposed to be a long haul thing but it's also supposed to be a bit fun engaging and i think they're they're losing some of the engagement if you will it could potentially be where <laughs> this is one of those um mysterious things on the internet that doesn't get solved in the time frame that people wanted it to or solved at all because people um, lost interest or abandoned it simply for the fact that it wasn't a great quality game and so people stopped playing it or weren't as active as before i don't think it will get to that considering the bounty is you know usd of you know bitcoin but the interest has a waned a little bit, I've noticed. It hasn't waned a little bit. And so there's some frustrations. Um, the release of the different types of keys, uh, it needs to be like two or three at a time, honestly. Even if stuff is not solvable. I think people realize they're playing the odds that some things are not going to be solvable. They, that's just going to happen. And they would like to progress and move on to the next task and the next thing, thing to the thing that they can solve or their clan can solve or be able to go back to um, at a different point and, and keep progression and keep working, you know, moving forward, if you will. Um, a key a week is, it, it's not enough. They're, like I said, two or three keys, four keys, five keys a week. You just boom, 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 drop them. It would be very enjoyable for me personally, and I think a very enjoyable. I think it will really reunite the enthusiasm for the game. I also think um, clarification, because words mean things and verbiage has a thing within this particular clue by acknowledging that yes, there will be bad actors. Yes, there will be some kind of sabotage. I'm I'm surprised they didn't think of that and didn't put into the to the clue itself that should a bad actor engage with your particular um, particular clan chain, and you kind of have to act like you do in the real world where you offer that block or you consider that block invalid and reject it. Like nodes reject um, bad blocks all the time. Um, I think, like I said, I don't think they fully understand the players of the game, and that's it's very telling. It it really is if you don't quite understand your audience. Um, but like I said, it 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 would be interesting. It'll be we'll see how this one goes. Um, again, I'll do like an update video if it's something comes up this week. I know I've been saying this, but I'm still working on the text adventure video. I am almost finished with it. Um, the PGP, why that's important, and little explainer videos on those two things. Um, that's pretty much all I have at the moment, except for this little bit of rant. Okay, so the public address. This got me thinking because I, I made a bit of an engagement on Reddit, on Reddit about the particular Bitcoin address that might be, well, or, or well, I'm going to put might because we don't know for sure. Uh, holding the Bitcoins, okay? Uh, it's been estimated at the time of the launch of the game. It can be anywhere from like, what, one, like 183 to 191 when they may have um, done this. Could be a little bit higher considering that all the planning that has gone into the game. They might have locked up and, and shredded the, um, or sharded the, a uh, private key at a somewhere around 200 who knows um but let's keep things clean and say it's like 150 bitcoin in an address okay when was that bitcoin created was it created 
at the height of when there was a bunch of different, you know, Bitcoin forks. This is an old address. I mean, Bitcoin is kind of getting forked quite a lot as of late. Um, so some of those, you know, different Bitcoin chains um, are built, you know, they're forking off the original Bitcoin. So you, in essence, have Bitcoin on the other address, if you will, on the other chain as well. So there's that kind of privacy concern. Um, airdrops. There's these all these different little things that try to airdrop. Um, I remember, like, back in the day, clams was an airdrop of sorts, where you could claim clams if you have a Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and Litecoin. I'm not sure if it, Ethereum was there, but I think it was, like, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, and Litecoin. You could obtain some clams. And there's been some other airdrops where you have the opportunity to either get some other coins or be participate in, uh, in some kind of ICO thing. What kind of address is this public address? Is it a SegWit address or is it just a one address? Um, does that matter? What is the UTXO? Um, you know, how many addresses had to come into the public address? What is the history of those particular coins? You know, you know when you, you know when you claim it, you're gonna want to send it to you know a different wallet so no one else can claim those coins from you. Um, you can be paying quite a high fee if it's on a one address. So you're, in a sense, losing a little bit of, yeah, I know it's like a million dollars, but if you're in this space for the long haul, even spinning a Satoshi should matter, you know? Um, it should matter. Satoshis matter. Um, you know, how much of that is going to get lost? Um... So yeah, the, you know, it would be nice to examine the public address so you, you know what potentially could, you know, as soon as you claim, you know, what you what you should be concerned about so you're not getting doxxed in any fashion you, as an individual or as a clan member, um, not getting doxxed, um, how to move those coins, you know, quickly and stealthily. You know, are, do you, should you coin join immediately? Or should you split it up? in a different fashion if it's a segwit address you know uh, getting it making sure it goes into a different segwit address you know there's there's all sorts of you know factors you know um it, like i said it would be nice to have that that public address so as soon as um you have all the 400 keys you know exactly what to do um it's already been agreed upon with your clan maybe you're going to a wasabi wallet maybe you're going to a nano ledger a, a one dime stick um, you're not going for the highest fee maybe you're, you're going to take your time <laughs> going through the blockchain it doesn't matter as long if it's a day or so as long as you can get everything through um, should you do a chain analysis to make sure fung fungibility is you know essential maybe not everybody wants to coin join immediately <laughs> so maybe you want to be able to do a, a chain analysis and say hey <laughs> these coins came from here and here and whether we like it or not there there's places that might not take this coin on exchange just because it came from this address three hops ago you know so that, that there, there's stuff like that that i think is important most importantly it, it's important to to demonstrate that you do in fact have the bitcoin I also think that communication needs to be a bit clearer. Uh, I, I stated this in the update. They need a designated social media person to not just give clues, but to engage with the hunters. And it's a place to where hunters can get questions answered pretty immediately, um, pretty frequently. Um, you know, talk about the hunt, um, talk about the space, highlight things that they've seen um, hunters and clans that want to, you know, be publicly disclosed are doing. The different, you know, future keys or possible hints to future keys or feats of task, which I think you can consider the um, Twitter engagement thing that they're doing here. Um, it's a bit of a feat of task, if you will. You know, these things kind of need to be cleaned up. They really do. Um, I would like, you know, it would be nice to have a timeline of, like, 
I don't need to know the names of the keys or the type of keys, but saying, you know, this, you know, with, for the months, you know, the month of June, we plan on, you know, releasing 24 keys. The month of July is only going to be 12. Uh, the month of August is going to be like 32 or something crazy like that. So people can have and plan and, and plan and have an expectation, you know. For the most part, this is not people's, you know, full-time job. You know, this is a side hustle or a side project. There's only so many hours of the day that they might be able to devote to the hunt. Um, because people are working, you know, they got bills and stuff like that. We live in a capitalist system, so they got to work and stuff like that. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to be able to plan and focus and know and have a certain expectation and follow through when it comes on the part of the game makers but that's it um sorry this is a little bit late um like just kind of you know like i said i had some feelings about this particular key kind of wanted to see what was going out there it, you know as soon as the key dropped i was like aesthetic <laughs> all across all across the line so i wanted to sit back and just kind of wait and process my thoughts on this and